After 21 years of South East Africa, why are 56,000 people still choosing to travel to Grahamstown's 1820 Settlers Monument for the Science, Maths and Engineering Festival? At school you might find it's a very intimidating environment because you, your introduction to maths and science is not that simple, it's not, it's not made easy, it's, the, you know, there's disruptions to it that you have no control over. Whereas you can come here and play to your heart's content and really um, experience science on a very personal level and in a way that will give you an attachment to it and give you an experience of it that you might not otherwise have had. Former Nombulelo High School learner Nolu Vyoshwembe is now a chemistry teacher at Gadra. She speaks about the impact of SciFest Africa on learners in her community. I do think SciFest is, is important um, because it exposes kids, especially primary kids, to a lot of experiments and, and things like the laser show, which gets them very, very excited. Because I myself, you know, was one of those kids who got excited by those shows. The festival is a project of the Gram Sound Foundation. It was opened by Minister of Science and Technology Maledi Pando on the 8th of March and ran for seven days. Visitors interacted with 65 exhibitions, viewed 18 lectures with a total of 706 events. The program was jam-packed including a laser show, film festival, science cafe, educational theatre and virtual shows. It won't eat us. SciFest Africa may have turned 21, but has it come of age? The distance between the town and the monument and the costs involved in attending the events raise questions about the accessibility of the festival to the Gramstown community. The monument and the Gramstown Foundation has a huge effect on our local community because it provides, you know, literally thousands of jobs um, through all the festivals that come out of this building. A very large part of our public are young, and they're, they're schoolgoers and they're students. And you're quite correct when you say that our, our maths and science education is in crisis. It really, really is. And, and I think that learners today in you know, so many schools in this country are at a huge disadvantage. For some kids, the festival will, festival will be enough. For others, the truth is it won't be enough. The resources in terms of chemicals in schools and as well as allowing kids to be able to work with these chemicals and see these things that you are teaching them in class in practice is lacking in most, if I should say, township schools. We absolutely keep in mind the children who are in schools that are poorly resourced in maths and science. And, and really what SciFest does is it's, it's designed to spark curiosity in people, in all people of all ages. Another SciFest Africa draws to a close as the Gramstown community settles back into its everyday routine. Is it a community more knowledgeable and inspired, or must they wait until 2018 for another eight days of science engagement? This is Annelisa Sander reporting for Rhodes TV at the 1820 Settlers Monument, Gramstown.